Alex, 2020, uh, I guess, probably didn't go exactly the way you hoped. I mean, you only got one fight in. It, you know, didn't get the result you wanted, I'm sure. So what was, what was 2020 like for you? Uh, you know, like you said, it didn't go exactly how I planned, but I didn't dwell on it too much. You know, it's just moving forward from there and uh, keeping a short memory when it comes to the things that don't go as planned and looking forward to the future. Yeah. Had to deal with the setback, of course. I mean, you're not used to losing. So what right. did that do to you? What, what was that mentality like for you? Yeah, so, you know, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, what is it like losing? What is it like losing? It's like I've been – I wrestled for – I mean, I probably had a thousand wrestling matches. I've been doing sports since I was a little kid. I've been losing my whole life. It's it's nothing new. It's part of it's part of growing. It's part of um, becoming the the next version of yourself and, and and building. And it's just you know it's it's just part of this. It's all it is. And and I don't focus on it. I'm just focused on the next win I'm going to get. Were there any lessons you took directly out of it, though, that you go like, you know what, here's where we went wrong, here's where we went wrong, this is, this is what we have to change next time we go out there? Um, man, I spent a lot more time focusing on the things that we did right, um, not so much on the things that, uh, obviously, there, there's always room to improve, there's always things that we can fix. It, we, we go back to the drawing board, you know, we, we tighten some things up. Um, but whether I won that fight or not, that's stuff I would have been doing anyways. It's not anything that... You know, you know, the the win or loss on the record doesn't really change how we move forward after the fight. No matter what, we're going to try to improve and try to do better and try to be a better version of what we can do. Well done. I know you were itching to get back. Yeah. Uh, they finally come to you with the name Luis Pena. What, what, what did you think when they, that was the name that they gave yes, you? Yes, I was excited about that. I was excited. I wanted that fight. Um, I've been wanting it. for That was supposed to be my debut. It didn't end up happening. Um, so when they brought it to me, I jumped on it right away. I said, yeah, let's do it. Sign it. I was curious because, like I said, you guys were scheduled to fight before. Did, did you guys push for this at all, or did they just happen to come back with that yeah, one? Yeah, we did. We did. So, um, you know, they, uh, they, they sent it to us, and I, like I said, right away we, we jumped on it, and we're happy to take that fight. Nice. Is there something about the matchup specifically that you like, or is it just the fact that, like, that was supposed to be the fight, so you feel like it's the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was kind of just like unfinished business. It was, I, I wanted to get in there, and I wanted to do this a year ago, um, over a year ago, and it didn't end up happening, and it just kind of felt like unfinished business. Um, I like the matchup. I like um, – I think we have a lot of strengths in where he has weaknesses, and I think that we're going to be able to capitalize on it. And I know it's – I mean, it's a Southpaw versus Southpaw fight, so they're never pretty. You know what I mean? Like Southpaw versus Southpaw, it's like they're they're ugly fights. They're they're you know not always like the the prettiest techniques or look look the best. So like I'm kind of expecting it to be just like an ugly, just like ballroom brawl, and I'm I've just been embracing that this whole camp. That's awesome. Uh, despite the loss, you're on the main card. You're here doing a media day. I mean, does it feel like maybe hey the organization believes in you? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like I've gotten a lot of support from the UFC, a lot of support from my management, from uh, from my team, and it feels good to know that you know they're pushing for me and they're trying to build me and uh, bring me up to that next level in the UFC. Nice. Last thing for me, obviously, you said this could be a kind of an ugly barroom type fight, but what's the goal here? I mean, it, winning is obviously what you want to do, but is it is it to like silence people that maybe doubted you after the last one, or is it to prove something to yourself? What's what's the goal here? No, man. Um, I really don't focus too much on the people who doubt me and the people who, yeah, uh, I, I don't really try to like prove people wrong as much as I'm trying to prove people right. You know, the ones that do care about me and the ones that have been pushing for me since day one, um, my really, really close family and friends, those, those are the people that I'm focused on and, and making them proud. Amen. Do you feel like Payne is one of those guys that just kind of has a recognizable name to fans in general? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. So is that when you when you sign to fight a guy like that, do you feel the difference in reaction from people? Do you feel more people going, oh, yeah, you're fighting that guy? Yeah, yeah, people people know him. So it's nice. I don't got to be like, yeah, I'm fighting this, you know, nobody can go look him up or whatever. So it it's nice to uh, be able to just, like, say the name. People are like, oh, okay, cool, right on. And in turn, I'm, I'm sure you don't need any more motivation, but do you sometimes think, like, well, with a victory, that puts me right there to be one of these recognizable names that I can then move on and push on with my career? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm always trying to, uh, 
I, I want I want big names. I want tough fights. I don't want I, I don't want anything given to me, and I don't want um, I don't want people who aren't gonna boost me, like bring me up in the rankings and and help for further my career. So, yeah, I think it's great. You mentioned something earlier about how you've lost before in life, and and do you think that mentality can help you in your career? Because you see some guys who they've never really suffered adversity or loss, and then when it happens, they kind of freak out and they sort of fall off the track. Do you feel because you have that mindset? You won't ever have that experience. You won't ever fall off because you just take a step back. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's just anybody, I feel like just about anybody who's made it this far in the UFC or made it to the UFC period, they've lost, man. They, it, maybe not in MMA. Maybe it was in the sport that they were, you know, kickboxing or wrestling or, or, or whatever the sport that brought them here was. <clears throat> I guarantee you if they were successful in it, and they were able to make it to that next level and compete at a very high level. Um, they didn't win all the time. So it's just, it, it's part of it. It's part of the journey. Do you think in a way it's almost important to add to your character, to add to your mindset, to lose at some point? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it's, you know, the goal is never to lose. We always want to win. It, you, we, it's nice to keep a perfect record and, and move, moving forward. But I did do a lot of... Uh, I guess I don't want to say soul searching, but like I, I you know, like <laughs> but, but soul searching. But but yeah, you know, you do That's a lot. It is yeah. super cheesy, but <laughs> but but I I did I was very introspective on a lot of things, and I was able to uh, um, gather a lot of insight from it that I think is going to help propel me to that next level. Cool. Thanks, man.